Hello, welcome to this podcast. My name is Beatrice Mars. I am a singer songwriter from France. So, uh, maybe some people think that I'm doing the music as a hobby. And honest, and to this affirmation, uh, I cannot say yes or no because to me, uh, it's it has it has become more than a hobby. I, I would say that maybe twenty years ago it was a hobby, but n- right now all I can say about it is I may not be a pro, but basically to me it's a lifestyle. So it's as simple as that. So I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, 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 YouTube and social media. I know that I've done, I had done in the past uh, a, pod- a podcast on the subject. I'm just like trying to be, I'm trying to actually adjust my uh, my camera because as usual, I'm recording this podcast on video and you will be able to see the video on YouTube shortly. So, and today, uh, talking about social media, I might be spending a lot of time, a bit of time talking to you about YouTube. As you may know, so I reckon in 2014, I had the time of my, I have the time of my life, some time in my life to be, to be, to be, to be right, since I was stuck in my bed and I spent a lot, at the time I had to spend a lot, well, my only distraction was kind of YouTube and then with the time, I had to spend a lot of time on YouTube researching things just to help myself to get me out of the situation I was in. So I made some. Um, I had to, yeah. I, I had to. Uh, now I'm thinking, is it English or French? I realized that's it. I realized there were a f- few things happening on YouTube. And by this time, I had. Um, I had another channel which has nothing to do with my channel Beatrice Mars that I started around 2014, uh, 2014 I guess, or maybe, yeah, around 2014, I, I just can't remember anyway. So I have another French channel that I started in 2006 and I was actually, most of, uh, every time I'm actually watching some videos on YouTube, it's, uh, it's from that French channel, that French account that I have. So watching videos on YouTube at that time, I realized that it was the time where, which was, which was 2014, where everyone, it's already six years and I can't believe it. And it was the time where everyone was on the uh, thumbnail wagons. And there was, I was spending so much time on YouTube uh, because I was stuck in my bed. And there was one thing that I didn't like at all is the fact that there was so much, so many thumbnails because people, because YouTube was recommending to the cre- to, to creators to actually create some th- thumbnails, it was like a mosaic of things where you couldn't find in you couldn't find anything because everything was like, yeah, you you can't you you to me you couldn't distinguish th- the videos. So, uh, it just like it was just a mosaic of things and it was just like a between quotes uh, upsetting me but helping me to find the right video. And I said to myself, I can't see the point in doing, in trying to do any thumbnails at all. And I thought to myself, like, I usually do think about, I do, somehow, somehow, I do think a little bit that way, is that is, if everyone is doing it, then you should not do it. This is the only way to actually distinguish yourself. And I was kind of right, because at the time it was much more easier to actually find the channel of someone who had, little number of subscribers and who was doing not no thumbnail stuff at all it was that to me that was that were the video that were popping up more than the, the thumbnails one so that was back in 2014 so and then afterwards after a while uh, youtube started to uh, well basically there i've learned about the fact that basically uh YouTube was scanning the videos and then creating thumbnails from the videos and it was accurate and to be honest with you when I was looking at at those videos clearly it was they were taking some kind of sensational pictures just to match the video as a thumbnail I said to myself why should I bother with that that funky stuff 
And then there was the main thing was that anyway, I couldn't actually stay in a chair on the chair. So I couldn't actually uh, do anything about, uh, you know, st be seated behind a computer trying to work on thumbnails for I, I don't know how many hours. And I remember at the time, whenever I was recording some videos for my friend channel, it was, it was, it was actually for my iPad, so it was easier for me to actually upload them di directly to YouTube. So it's not the case anymore. It hasn't been the case for quite some years now. So coming back to my, uh, to my uh, YouTube channel, actually my Beatrice Marsh YouTube channel, and actually when I think about it, it might, may not be 2014, it might be before and because I can't I honestly can't remember. I should have checked earlier on. Yeah, it would no, it was 2014. So um, when I decided originally on this uh, on this uh, on this YouTube channel, I was thinking about uh, basically all the videos were linked to a blog, and I was I wanted to actually well, do the videos, and it wasn't related to my music at all originally. It's only when in 2017 I start in 2017 when I started to actually record and decided to actually. Uh, put my work out in the world, i.e. paying a distributor to distribute my music around the world. That's when I decided to actually make some videos about my music and try to explain my, my music and, you know, the concept of each of my albums. And by the way, I've got six albums out and I'm working on the seventh one. And I think that I might be, I might be working, uh, I may be working tonight or in the following days on the one of the last song of the album. I think I just need another one on some finish that one. I just need another one. I might be the, the album might be might be finished. That's what I can say. So and I don't know when I'm going to release it. So that's the news. So so when I to come back to YouTube and my Beatrice Mar channel and I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna carry when I actually decided to do those videos and then I was still in pain so I couldn't do much anymore even though I was by now working with uh, iMovies but iMovies were my, my I would say things were a little bit limited for me with iMovies I couldn't use images because I've got an old MacBook so with the iMovie with the iMovies version I, I, I have you cannot uh, you cannot use images so and I, s I decided to do the same thing. So, and not spend too much time because being seated was a bit of a bother for me. So decided to actually, you put a video, you let YouTube use the thumbnail and that's it. So, and I have to say, this is the, the, the nitty gritty stuff. I have to say that for a while, uh, mainly because of 2014, and this is around, 2014 was around the time where I heard about veganism and I started to think about it and kind of get the information. So right now I'm a vegan anyway, I've become one. So the thing was, everyone was saying to have to have uh, to have YouTube recommend you to to have YouTube to, to recommend your video. You need to put videos. Best is to do it every day or several times, several well, every day. So at one point in my French channel, I was doing it every day. I didn't see much anyway. Uh, to this date, I've got 171 subscribers in my, on my French channels and only two on my Beatrice Smart channel. So it didn't work for me. So maybe it was the content be because maybe it wasn't me. It was me. And to be honest with you, on social media, I'm not really willing to to show my flesh. If you understand what I'm saying, you know, I'm just like I'm just being me, just me, uh, basically. If you one day you meet me, uh, you see that the person you see on the screen is not very different from the person you you, you see on in real life, and it's some. It to me, it's almost a point of honor. You know, it's just like this is the way I've I've done. To, I've decided to be when I started to do my my, my to record my first album. Decided to distribute it. I said to myself, you have to be real, authentic, and uh, it's no it's no it's no point. Basically, you're too old to pretend. To pretend, yeah. So you just need to be you and do things the way you see it. Just like, and yeah, do do stuff. So this is why uh, uh, my channel, my social media, have the faces that we have. Basically, I've got very few subscribers. My lowest is definitely YouTube. Uh, I'm on like Instagram. I'm on. Um, 
I even forget Twitter. I'm on like uh, TikTok, and I'm on uh, another platform called uh, Rumble now called Weasel. I've I've I have really few subscribers, and I have to say, I rather have few subscribers or no subscribers at all on my YouTube channel, but actually follow my, follow my work for what it is than having a. A cloud of people uh, subscribing to me and basically uh, there's no intention nothing and uh, people are not really watching the videos so I rather have you know a few subscribers and people watching the videos and anyway with YouTube uh, whatever you do even though I'm getting a little bit better with the very few videos I have now on my um, French channel is that um, most of the time whatever 50% of the people are actually watching your video uh, have not subscribed to your channel so so be it so to me it's it's not real it's, there's no real point and i'm very much into an organic reach than trying to pay for things and i have to say and i've said it before i have no money to actually put on that so the thing it's all settled i don't have to like i, I don't have to do uh, well, i'm just i just need to just you know do the things i want to do whenever i feel like it with the results with the results i have and I said to I said many times to me it's to me having one or more people to actually actually listening to me watching the video listening to my music it's it's actually more than enough because uh, it's more than zero so that's all I can say so so about it so I do not basically what I'm trying to say that I do not subscribe to the hype that says you need to spend money you need to make a lot of videos you need to and uh, what I'm saying to you, uh, I have to say, since the uh, beginning of uh, confinement in French, but quarantine for, for you, maybe English people, is that uh, it's true that I've made more videos on my Beatrice, Be Beatrice March channel. I've done more podcasts because usually when I record a podcast, I make a video. And I have to say, does it help me? Right now, since it's been f several days since the last time I actually recorded the podcast, I have to say, yes, it does help me a little bit. If you, if I do record a podcast, it does help me a little bit in terms of people not really watching the videos, but maybe because of the title, uh, listening to a podcast and actually, actually trying to to listen to my music, trying to find me on the uh, streaming platform so we can listen to my music. And what I say, the only real, real place where I actually can see what's going on is on, unfortunately for me, it's on Spotify. So I have to say, for since I haven't recorded a podcast, it's a bit quiet for me. So what I'm saying is that, yes, you need to be out there. Uh, too often, it's yes and no, but really, it all depends on uh, subject matter, basically, it's really what you're talking about and the title is true the title you put on your videos or your podcast is going to make the difference people are going to click on it they want they will be intrigued and they will want to to hear what you have to say on the subject on, on whatever title you've you've put on the um, on the uh, on the actual actual on your actual post so yes what i'm saying is that because of a situation right now is basically the fact that i'm doing a little bit more is working to my advantage to my benefit somehow and to your benefit as well uh because you're listening to me and you're coming back for some of you but on every any other given uh, occasion before basically the quarantine or confinement um uh, there were things were not happening but not that much it's a little bit better since everyone is indoors that's what i can say so to be to to tell to tell you yeah basically i haven't posted much on instagram as i said to you i don't like instagram i don't like facebook i forgot about, i have forgotten about facebook here again it's just that uh, some from time to time when i think about i'm doing something i'm thinking like yeah that's a meaningful post to actually put on my instagram account i do it and then it goes automatically to uh, to facebook and it's the same for uh, for well tiktok i've kind of it's not my scene but that's what i can say so people lot f the other time i was listening to gary and he was saying uh, you'd have to dance on tiktok but uh, it's not my scene. I, I don't actually find my style. Uh, 
Rumble could resume nowadays. It was a, it's a bit better. I feel more, co more comfortable about with it. But uh, to me, it turned out to be a bit like, uh, you know, was gossipy, gossipy, thingy type of site. But I, I don't really, I don't really like to endorse. I don't really like to uh, to live on. Uh, that's what I can say. So that's about it. So. Uh, what I reckon f from what I've done so far, uh, I'm kind of convinced that I still need to do uh, YouTube the way I do it. Uh, and uh, I need to actually record podcasts to, to, to make things move a little bit for me, a little bit more. But so, that's what I can say. That's the, uh, that's the analysis that I, I've done so far. And I have to say, to, uh, um, I was, I was going to say Twitch, but uh, I'm not on Twitch and I'm not planning on being on Twitch already or whatever. But I have to say on Twitter, uh, basically all my posts on those d various social social media platforms are directly uh, posted on Twitter every time I actually do something. And honestly, it doesn't do a lot for me. My Beatrice Mars account, my Twitter Beatrice Mars account doesn't do much for me. So, And then my uh, the subscribers are actually stagnant. So that's uh, that's the deal with my social media so some people think maybe think that you shouldn't much but my experience so far has been that uh, if you don't spend a lot of money uh, don't expect much or if you don't spend the money then you need to act in certain ways in order to have your subscribers and right now, these are the ways I've kind of identified by listening to other creators. It's not the ways I want to do. I don't want to force myself to do something I don't feel like it's. If basically every time I'm actually recording something, I don't just do that for just for pleasure of recording because I need, I know I need to record. And I remember on my French YouTube channel, at one point I was on that stage and I said to myself, "Enough is enough. Well, it's not. It's no. It's not. It's not new food. Doesn't need you anywhere. I'm just like." getting consumed by something which is uh, off somehow so yeah i'm just like trying to do a thing when i feel like doing it and just like to have a very authentic and genuine content that to, that i can offer to you that's what i can say so that's my um that's my take on youtube particularly youtube and social media to this date i'm not convinced of uh of necessity of thumbnails they can be useful but uh, when they are overused but all creators to me doesn't make any sense having said that there are less and less people doing thumbnails over there that's what i actually realized and um, to me without thumbnails it's less easier to actually uh, identify a video that you want to watch uh, to me that that's my way that, that, that's where i feel about it so and uh, yeah and more and more people they do not bother compared to 2014 clearly less and less creators are bothered with um, with thumbnails and some people now creators celebrity creators influencers i don't know how you want to call it some of them some of them are just seeing right now that uh, now if it doesn't matter if you do a video which is uh, which is uh, is not state of the heart because really the people who are actually watching you are not concerned with the state of the art fridge or, or with the state of the art thing they are more concerned about your content what you have to say on your video so if it's like it could be it could be uh, recording on your iphone or an old iphone or in a dark room or whatever and uh, people could uh, actually barely see you on the video it wouldn't matter and this is why what i what i intend to think and i was thinking when i started to 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 see to see what was happening on youtube and over social media at the time when i was recording my music and this is one of the element it's not the main one but but it is one of the element where when i was actually truly thinking and to this day i actually do think about it that way is that it doesn't matter and this is the reason why i always think show your work to the work to the world it doesn't matter the quality the thing just need to exist and let the people basically judge you for what it is and you and as far as i'm concerned 
I actually believe that you will be surprised what people can listen to. So you don't need to make to me it, you don't need to make music up to the in music industry standard. You just need to make some music be basically at ease with the work you have done and be prepared to actually put it out in the world and let people judge you. And you'll be surprised who are the people who what the number of people who actually come and listen to you, what people can tolerate. You, the music industry is influencing most of people by, by saying, well, if you haven't got the, the state of the art uh, equipment, you cannot make money. But basically more and more people and creators are realizing that basically is not totally right. It's, it's not a right reasoning. It's and nowadays it's almost the opposite. And with that quarantine thingy, you know, this crisis we are living in, is it seems to me that uh, people, more and more celebrities, are realizing that uh, basically you just need to take your telephone, whatever you want to buy, okay, and just like go and do the things you want to do. And then you get people watching you. And uh, for some of them, they are realizing making a little bit of money a lot of money compared to what we are used to so uh if we do realize that uh if you an unknown independent artist you better get on the, b the bandwagon and uh, basically stop uh, stop uh, believing whatever the music industry is trying to to, to whatever message the music industry is trying to send you and do the things you want to do the way you want to do it and wait for it and see how people react to the thing so your stuff doesn't need to be perfect it just need to exist that's what the technology say and that's what the people who are actually watching the videos and you know work from creators are basically kind of kind of seeing somehow so that was it for today that was it's not a rant but this is what this is why my this is the reason why my social media content are in the state they are right now and uh, and I'm not, uh, I'm not apologizing for it somehow, or maybe I am, but basically I'm just like, I'm cool with it. Just, it's fine with me. Um, well, this is, and there's nothing I'm really ashamed about. That's what I can say. So that's it for me. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you come to hear me again. And uh, till then, well, take care.